It's the Country 107 Morning Show. Keith Urban and Julia Michaels coming home. Good morning. I'm Dave Anthony. It's 810. We're at the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal. The Country 107 Morning Show is on the road. And Jason Peters, you actually had to take a different road to get here today uh, because of a little accident. Uh, Highway 52 at the Randolph Landmark Intersection 206. Emergency crews are on the scene. Uh, major delays and detours are expected. And Jason, you actually had to take a detour, right? I did. I found myself waiting on the highway, uh, not sure what happened in front of me. I did see a vehicle that looked like it might have had a collision, so I had to do a little, uh, a little exploring of the beautiful country roads in the area, but we did make it here. That is good news. And uh, how about uh, just take a coffee there, which is right in front of you. As soon as you sat down, Red Wing Diners got free coffee as long as we're here. Uh, Jason Peters of the RM of Hanover. What's it been like making the switch from the city of Stein back to the RM of Hanover? Uh, it, it's been refreshing. It's been great. Uh, the city was a wonderful place to work, but I'm really enjoying uh, my new opportunity, getting to know lots of people in the southeast, uh, and realizing that you know, as a whole region, uh, you know, there's lots of great things happening here, and and outside the city boundaries, uh, there's great things as well. You know, here in Grunthal, we were lucky enough to talk to a couple of great people. We ran into Dave, uh, who's helping solve the world problems here, but only from 7:30 to 9:30. He's, he's got to stop at 9:30. Uh, you, you talk to great people like that, and you mentioned getting to know so many people. What What's it been like getting to know the people of Grunthal? You know, this is a passionate community. Uh, growing up in Steinbeck, just short ways from here, I knew Grunthal for a few things, the Red Wings, uh, the motocross racing, things like that. But the one thing I've noticed uh, getting to, to uh, rub shoulders with people here is how passionate the Grunthal folks are about their community. They're really proud where they came from. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a really, really cool uh, vibe that they have in this town. We're going to more with Jason Peters coming up in a little bit. We're at the heart of Grunthal right now, the Red Wing Diner, where we're solving the world problems. We're having amazing coffee, and we're having some great stories as well. Come on down and join us. As long as we're here, the coffee is free. The Country 107 Morning Show is on the road at the Red Wing Diner here in Grunthal. The Country 107 Morning Show, on the road again. On the road again. Where the conversation flows, the coffee's free, and we're playing your country favorites. Well, we got more great music on the way. I just had my coffee topped up here at the Red Wing Diner. The best part is, as long as we're here, the coffee is free. So come on down. Join us for brekkie. Join us for coffee and good conversation. More with Jason Peters coming up after Luke Combs. His smash hit, Beautiful Crazy on Country 107. starts with a coffee. The Country 107 Morning Show was on the road from the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal, and that's Luke Combs' Beautiful Crazy. I'm Dave Anthony, and a little bit of an update here. The accident uh, about a quarter mile west of Highway 52 at the Randolph Landmark intersection. Uh, Stars has just landed at the accident scene. Emergency crews obviously working. You can expect major delays and detours around there again. That's about a quarter mile west of Highway 52, the Landmark Randolph turnoff. Stars Air Ambulance has been dispatched and just landed on its scene. We'll keep you updated here on Country 107 and SteinbachOnline.com as we get more information. Here's High Valley, Let It Be Me on the Country 107 Morning Show from Grunthal. The Country 107 Morning Show is on the road. It's High Valley's Let It Be Me. I'm Dave Anthony enjoying great coffee here at the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal. And a lot of great people have been stopping by, smiling and waving. We'd love to see you, so stop on by. As long as we're here, the coffee is free. Jason Peters, uh, one thing that uh, maybe was not free was the lesson the Jets learned last night from the old St. Louis Blues. Tough one last night. You were there. Uh, I don't want to talk about that, but yes, I was. Uh, so a few people from the Red Wing Diner have already brought it up, but uh, hey, it's early in the series, and that's just kind of the way it goes. And uh, Another topic that people here in Grunthal are bringing up is uh, some of the stuff that's going on around here, and that includes uh, swimming lessons. You got some details on those. I do. You know... Um little known fact that there is outside of people who live in this area there's an unbelievable park in this town if you haven't you know from this area you don't probably get a chance to go out there and they have a pool there and that surprises some people but it's packed all summer long uh, offer a full uh, round of swimming lessons there there's still some space available if you want your kids registered in swimming lessons we, ha we have had the question uh, here in the rm about uh, swimming lessons uh, and about some of the decisions that were made in in steinbach in terms of charging residents uh, a little bit less if you're a resident of hanover you have an option option here. It's within your municipality. You don't have to pay that extra, those extra dollars. So uh, come on down to the pool in Grunthal and get your kids signed up for their lessons in summer. You know, that's a really good point because I'm not sure many how many people know that. And there was quite a bit of buzz around here about uh, the, the whole swimming lessons in Steinbach. So I think a lot of people were a little upset and this is a good option. 
It absolutely is. Now it's an outdoor pool, so you can't do it in January. But uh, you can get your kids in lessons in the summer. It's a fantastic option. Grenthal people certainly know about the pool, but uh, sometimes people just a little bit further out maybe don't think about it. But it's it's a, and it's a great park. It's a great space for your family to hang out while your your kids taking lessons. They've got a great play structure. They got awesome ball diamonds, uh, a beautiful little creek. There's places to uh, have picnics, all those things. It's a gorgeous park. So get out there. But uh, GrenthalCentennialPark.com is the website. And if you go there, there's information on what's available at the park, including how to register for swimming lessons. So if you're from Pansy, Sardo, that's we, you know, we came through on the way here to Grunthal. It's a great opportunity to get your kids in swimming lessons because I know there's some great families in the Sardo and Pansy area. Now looking down the road a little bit, uh, Family Fun Day here in Grunthal is going to be a hit. It will, and that's uh, September 7th, so we do want to enjoy the summer before we get to that, but uh, but that's always a big day here. Another community event, uh, typically here in Grenthal, they rally around their community events. Uh, there's great turnouts. We had a good winter carnival here this winter with a great turnout. We're expecting the same for another Family Fun Day. A lot of great athletes here in Grunthal as well, and uh, a little bit down the road uh, is another opportunity to get out on the ball fields and be a little active. Right, so, I mean, we have all the spring baseball, softball, uh, all those things coming soon. Uh, in the next month or so, but then we're going to be having a big uh, slow pitch tournament here on July the 6th. Uh, more information to come on that, but again, if you check the Centennial Park website, uh, you should be able to find lots of good details there. Jason Peters uh, with the RM of Hanover. Any, t- any questions, talk to Jason. He's a great guy, and he's uh, been doing such a great job. Thanks for joining us here for some... Co- I know the coffee really brought you here, right? The coffee's great. Yeah, the-, the Jets conversation didn't get you here. <laughs> no. <laughs> come on down. We're at the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal. As long as we're here, the coffee is free. Jason's going to hang out a little bit, answer any questions that you have, and and we got uh, some more great things coming up here in just a little bit. The Country 107 Morning Show is on the road. We're at the Grunthal. We're in Grunthal, pardon me, at the Red Wing Diner. Come join us for coffee and conversation. The Country 107 Morning Show is inside the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal, listening to Chris Stapleton, Millionaire. I'm Dave Anthony, and a lot of great people are having coffee. And as long as we're here, the coffee is free, and gentlemen and ladies are sitting around solving the world's problems. And it's been so fantastic getting to hang out and talk with a few people. Uh, we're here with uh, Kelly Weeb, Grunthal Motocross. And Kelly, uh, you are, uh, we're introduced into motocross you weren't born into it what was kind of uh the biggest surprise you had when you started to learn more about motocross well i always thought it was a really dangerous sport and don't get me wrong it's really dangerous but the riders really take pride in their techniques and ways to make it safe so that was a big shock to me and uh now not only do you have a husband in it your 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 kids involved in it too Oh, yeah, absolutely. So safety is always number one, and I think everyone can agree. Um, MMA takes great pride in making sure the tracks are safe and the riders are safe. Now, it's got to be a little bit dis- It's got to be a little concerning as a mom sometimes, but like you said, your husband's in it, your, 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 son, your son is in it. Just here in Grunthal, uh, what's it like to see kids out there kind of living the dream that their dads and their uncles and their cousins were doing? Oh, it's so awesome. Like, you see the dads prouder than punch with their kids there, and kids are out there having a blast you know they're not in front of the tv they're outside they're getting physical they're having fun it's just it's awesome now you usually when you say grunthal you think of a couple of different things a you think of the great coffee here at the red wing diner you think of the red wing hockey team and you think grunthal motocross what does it mean to to grunthal in area to have that here uh for for people to experience it's absolutely amazing and sometimes you take it for granted but it attracts people from all over the province. Like you'll have Saskatchewan, well, even all over Manitoba coming out here, even people from the States. So just it brings outsiders into town and gets people to see the town. And so many people from Grunthal either have done motocross at some point in their life or went down to watch a family member, right? Absolutely. Yeah, those stands were always packed. Well, we need to pack them even more because it's one of those things that it's it's kind of taking a dip. And you're really working hard to grow Grunthal Motocross back up. What are you doing? Well, number one is we really want to change the track, make it attractive for the riders. Uh, we want all classes of riders to be able to come out and enjoy the track. If the riders are having fun, that'll attract the people. People will come out and try to see the A riders or the little guys. It's just yeah. We got more with Kelly Weeb coming up. Grunthal Motocross. We're making motocross great again here in Grunthal. There's going to be videos. We're going to talk about registration. And that is all coming up with Kelly Weeb. Uh, and we'll talk about uh, how Mark is the new president as well and, and kind of what the challenges is in that way. As Grunthal Motocross is uh, continuing to grow here in the area, we'll talk more with Kelly Weeb coming up in just a little bit. Your weather details, and yes, it does include snow, but it's not going to stick around long, I promise. Those details in two and a half minutes.
The Country 107 Morning Show is on the road at the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal. And, man, my coffee has not hit the bottom yet. It is getting filled up uh, like like nothing. It's so great. And the whole time that we're here, coffee is free. My name is Dave Anthony. Shannon Duick from the newsroom is uh, here as well. He's the most popular person here, actually. Everybody's putting a face to the name, which is great. And if you want to put a face to the name of Grunthal Motocross, it's Mark and Kelly. Those are the two great people that have taken over as Mark's the new president. And Kelly joins us here at the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal. And Kelly, we are just talking about how at one point there was uh, around 800 riders involved in Grunthal Motocross. And now there's around 250, 300 150, but that is that's starting to ramp up a little bit. Why is that? Um, I think a lot of the writers back then, when there was 800 writers, um, now they're starting to have kids, so their kids are getting back into it. Dad's getting back into it, so I think we'll really see a, an increase in numbers this year. Yeah, I love that it's kind of becoming a family thing, and that's really what it's all about. Your family is all involved with it, with Mark and your son, and now you're seeing other families kind of having that generational uh, tie to Grunthal Motocross. But now the pressure is on you when when it's coming to the track, and it's to make it a show. Absolutely, um, people want to come see a show. They love to see the riders, but essentially, it's a show. It really is. So if you want to get uh, a little bit more information, if you want to see what you guys are up to, how can we view uh, what you guys are doing? Uh, you can go on Facebook or Instagram under Grunthal Motocross. Then you'll see all our, our news and updates and what's going on. We've posted a few videos already. And it's a great place to go. And if you want to learn more about motocross, if you want to learn about bikes, if you just want to get involved, like this is a really cool place to do that here in Grunthal. How can people register for the upcoming races? And what, maybe give us a little insight on when the season might start. Well, first races are in Melita, May 12th, I believe. But if anybody wants to register, they can go on the Manitoba Motocross Association page and they make it really easy there. They're great and they'll hook you up. Kelly, thank you so much. We look forward to going forward with you and Mark and, and learning more about uh, the Grunthal Motocross. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, thank you. Kelly Weeb here at the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal. Join us as there's free coffee. We're going to talk uh, more with great people. In fact, coming up after 9 o'clock, we're going to be joined with Sam Weeb and Danny Cole, a couple of terrific athletes, and we're talking a little academic as well. The Country 107 Morning Show with Dave Anthony. On the road again. On the road again. Great music, conversation, and free coffee. All the way back from 1983, Dixieland Delight from Alabama on Country 107. Good morning. It's 8.57. I'm Dave Anthony at the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal, where we've taken the Country 107 and taken it on the road. As we have uh, been hanging out here for the last hour, we're going to be here until 10 o'clock. And as long as we're here, the coffee is free. Uh, coming up after 9 o'clock, I'm going to be joined with Sam Weeb and Danny Cole of Garden Valley School. They're the student council presidents and... I think they only know 1983 from history textbooks. I, they're very, very, uh, very young, but they are incredible at what they do. Sam is a great athlete. Danny, uh, incredible dancer, and both uh, getting ready to graduate from Grunthal and Garden Valley School. So we're going to talk with Sam and Danny coming up in just a little bit. We have Gord Bamford, must be a woman on the way, but first to look what's going on in news with Clear Spring Animal Hospital, taking care of your furry four-legged friends. Check them out at clearspringanimalhospital.com. There has been a serious collision west of Mitchell this morning morning and there was a fatal mishap near Richer yesterday. Those stories and more in your local news update in minutes. The newest single from Dallas Smith, Rhinestone World on Country 107. Good morning. We are in the crown jewel of Grunthal, the Red Wing Diners. The Country 107 Morning Show is on the road at school. Council Presidents Sam and Danny. Sam, uh, we'll start with you. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what, it was been, what it's been like growing up in Grunthal and getting to graduate with, with the people that you're going to later on this year. Uh, it's definitely like a different feeling coming from such a small town, small school. It's like I've been with these people for 13 years. It's like I've been growing up in a family. It's just, it's so crazy the connection you can grow with these people, the conversations you've had with these people over the years. I just think that's really incredible from a small school. Now, Danny, uh, you actually came to Grunthal how many years ago? Uh, I came to Grunthal eight years ago. What was it like moving to Grunthal and becoming part of this community? Well, living in Grunthal, I went from Winnipeg to small town, and it just feels really good to be connected in with a group of friends, and it, like the whole school is connected, so it just feels really good to be part of the community. Sam, uh, you mentioned growing up with friends and family, and uh, what's it been like balancing athletics with your volleyball career and your academics? It's definitely a struggle, because like, to keep being an athlete, you have to keep your marks up. If you don't have your marks up, you can't be an athlete. 
and also like my parents are keeping uh, keeping a high educational standard for me. So if I don't keep my marks up, I can't go to volleyball tournaments. And so it's just it's it really is a balance, making sure that you can balance both and keep your life life right. Oh yeah, for sure. It's got to be a whole lot of fun though, Danny, because you're a very accomplished dancer as well. Uh, what's it like for you? Because I know that discipline is, is so taxing. Yeah, trying to keep up with school, dancing, teaching dance, dancing in the community, being a part of both of those things is really tough, but it's really worth it at the end of the day because I get to do what I love um, and just have a really great education. And just bringing the community together through dance has been really amazing. Talking with Sam Weeb and Danny Cole. Danny, uh, back to you here. Uh, you actually found out how you were doing this interview today in a very different way because Sam was going to leave you hanging out to dry. He wasn't going to help you at all, but someone special did. Yeah, so I was on my way walking out of school and Mr. Zapperzan said, hey, good luck tomorrow. And I was like, oh, with what? And he's like, you have an interview tomorrow. And I was like, oh, really? So, yeah, I didn't know till last minute yesterday leaving the school. Sam, you freely admitted that you wouldn't have even texted her today. No, no, I, I would have... I would have just thought she had known. I, I probably would have totally left her hanging until I was here. Uh, Sam, I think that speaks to just, you talk about how close the, the kids are that you've grown up with, but the, the relationship you have with the teachers and staff at Garden Valley, I think that says a lot. Oh, yeah, it's, it's crazy the connection I have with the teachers. You talk to kids from other schools, bigger schools, they barely know their teachers, they barely know who they are, and I feel like I can know my teachers on a deep level, actually. Danny, uh, you know, you you, uh, you mentioned how you like to sleep in right till the last moment and then run to school because it's only a couple blocks away. That's small town living. It doesn't get much better than here in Grunthal, eh? Yeah, honestly, it's great. Yeah, get that extra sleep in. Uh, before we uh, end things with Sam, Danny, uh, coming up at Summer in the City, you have something very special you're involved in. Tell us a little bit about that. So Summer in the City coming up is the annual battle of heat the streets it's going to be great it's going to be big there's going to be dancers there's going to be a dj great music the sun's out yeah it's going to be super good I, I hope you can do a, a dance to the new billy ray cyrus song the remix uh i think that song is pretty hot and sam agree oh yeah i love that song Sam, uh, before we wrap up here, just uh, as you get ready for graduation and, and you look back at just what uh, what it's been like to grow up here in Grunthal and just how much the community means to you, have you had a little time to think about that? Uh, I've had all the time in the world, yet it feels like I've had no time at all because it's just time keeps moving, time keeps getting closer and closer and closer, and it feels like you never have the time to really just come to terms and settle with the, the loss that you're going to feel once you're leaving all these people when you graduate, but it's, gonna, it's just going to be all right and time will keep on moving. Guys, thank you so much for doing this today. Danny, we really appreciate it. And to everybody listening, big shout out to them. And uh, get back to work. It's time to get to school, as you two need to get to school as well. Uh, big shout out to uh, Mrs. Schinkel for setting this all up. And we're so happy that we could be here at the Red Wing Diner with uh, Sam and Danny of Garden Valley School. And we're going to continue being here. As long as we're here, the coffee is free. So join us and uh, have a great time here at the Red Wing Diner as the Country 107 Morning Show is on the road. My hands are shaking. But my heart is true. All the way back from 2009, Talk Walker, If I Fall on Country 107. Good morning, I'm Dave Anthony. And you know, sometimes you fall on your face a little bit and did that. Uh, Green Valley School is Sam Weeb and Danny Cole. They are the proud student council uh, presidents. And we just had a gentleman come in to remind me that it's Green Valley School. So very, thank you very much to that, sir. As uh, We're here with Harold Unruh from the Grunthal Auction Mart. And, uh, uh, this past weekend, Harold, there was a very special event that took place. Tell us a little bit about it and how much money was raised. Well, it was an event uh, held at the auction mart for the Food Grains Bank. And in the event, a little over $30,000 was raised between selling livestock and some other consignment items. But, uh, you know, 30000 was raised, but that's not all the money that's going towards the projects, right? No, the government matches. Actually, I think it's three or four to one. For every dollar that we raise, they add. So all together, it'll be well over $120,000. What did it mean to you to get to host that here in Grunthal? Uh, it means a lot to be a part of uh, giving a little back to the public or to other countries that are in more need than we are, I guess. And the Grunthal Auction Mart is a great place to do that. And coming up on May the 4th, a special event is coming. It's the Auctioneering Championships. And, Harold, this isn't the first time that Grunthal's hosted this event. No, it was hosted there. It's approximately 17 years ago, the last time the Manitoba, Manitoba Saskatchewan Auctioneering Contest was held there. 
and it was a great success then and we hope to make it a good success again all right so tell me about this like what it's all about this manitoba saskatchewan auctioneering championships it's auctioneers across manitoba and saskatchewan they'll be coming down to compete in selling livestock uh, each auctioneer will have 10 groups of cattle to sell to show off their their talents and they'll be judged by a, a panel of judges and after the first 10 have had a chance to show off their stuff, uh, the top five will be selected to come back for the second round. And out of the second round of auctioning, um, the champion will be awarded a buckle along with some cash prizes. Very cool. Now, whether you're an auctioneer with experience or maybe brand new to it, this is an event that everyone can compete in. Everyone can compete. If you... Uh, have been practicing your auctioning uh, a little bit. You can still enter if you want by giving me a call. I can connect you with the people in charge and get you entered. All right, more with Harold Enra coming up in a little bit, including what it means to have the championships come through Grunthal again after 17 years, the renovations made to the auction mart, and I'm going to give a shot at becoming an auctioneer. I think I got what it takes to be eliminated first in the uh, auctioneering championships. I think I can do that. That's coming up in just a little bit, but first... Country 107, celebrating local talent in the southeast. From the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal, we got a local artist, Mr. Don Amaro with Church. Here on the Country 107 Morning Show as we're on the road in Grunthal. We love our country. We out in the world. Good old days, Chris Buck Band on Country 107. Good morning, I'm Dave Anthony. The Country 107 Morning Show is on the road. We're at the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal. And uh, we have got an esteemed panel here. And we'll get to those guys in just a few moments. As Harold Unruh from uh, Grunthal Auction Mart is here. And coming up on May the 4th, uh, Harold, what is coming to Grunthal? It's a man Sask auctioneering competition at the Grunthal Auction Mart where we'll be auctioning off uh, different types of livestock. All right, so uh, this is, is this an open event? Yes, it is. So anybody with any experience can get involved in this? Any experience or even if you don't have any, you can. All right, so I have a very limited experience of auctioneering, so I have a I put a, an esteemed panel of judges together, uh, Harold Unruh, and we also have uh, from o uh, South Oaks Elementary. Hi, I'm Dale Martins from South Oaks Elementary School. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So we're going to have him, and we also have, uh, sir, what's your name? David Shannon Duick from the newsroom. That's true. So I have, a, I have an esteemed panel of judges here around me as I'm going to try my auctioneering uh, debut on Country 107. It's, uh, it's, it's going to go something. It's going to be something. Uh, we're going to sell, I'm going to sell my Country 107 toque as worn by Dave Anthony from Country 107. Wore it to the building today to keep my bald head warm. All right. Here we go. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Okay, guys. Remember, we're judging. Okay, hold on, Harold. Before we get to this, how am I going to be judged on this? You'll be judged on clarity, how well you know your product, and your audience. Well, I like my audience. I like my product because it's a black toque. It's got Country 107 on it. I know that very well. And the clarity, well, I've had six cups of coffee today, boys, so this might go sideways in a hurry. All right. Next item up for auction is a black toque from Country 107. It's got a white crown on top. It's got white letters on the bottom, 107.7 FM, and a nice orange country right in the middle. Let's get a, let's get it going here as we got the first bait coming up on the left-hand side. Left-hand side, $5. Can we get $5? Can we get 5 Oh, we got 5 Can we get 10 on the right? 10 on the right from Harold. All right, let's keep going. Now. Let's get 15, 15. Do we have anybody? 15, we got 15 from Shannon. All right, let's go to the 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Nope, it, not, oh, oh, sold. Oh, we got 20 here in last second bid. Let's get to 25, 25, 25. Can we get 25? Can we we get 25 from the tall man in glasses in the newsroom. We can. Yes, we can, Shannon. All right. Let's see if we can get Mr. Martin's back in involved. Mr. Martin's looking fancy in a pink shirt. Look, at, he's got $50. That's it. We're selling it to $50. Sold to Mr. Dale Martin's. Woo. All right. How did I do? Yeah? All right. Well, Mr. Martin's, how did I do, Harold? That was pretty good. Like on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, probably a four. Hey, you know what? I'll take a four. Well, uh, Dale, what did you think? Uh, now that you're a proud owner of the two, I accept cash and credit card, by the way. You know, listening to an auctioneer just gets me excited, and that's why I spent the big, big bucks. So it worked for me. Well, there you go. Maybe I got a future. Uh, you never really know. The auctioneering championships are coming to Grunthal May 4th. It's open. Uh, you can go down whether you have experience or not. Uh, Harold, how can people get a hold of you to register? Uh, just give me a call at the auction mart at 434-6519.
Errol, thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. We got more with uh, Dale Martins of South Oaks Elementary coming up in just a little bit. Your weather details, and yes, it does include the word snow. That is coming up in two and a half minutes on Country 107 as we're from the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal. The Country 107 Morning Show. On the road again. On the road again. Continues after this. The Country 107 Morning Show is on the road from the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal. Kira Isabella's gone enough. I'm Dave Anthony, and the coffee is not gone, not yet. Oh, no. Bottomless cups here at the diner today, and it is so delicious. It has uh, been unbelievable getting to hang out here in Grunthal, and we maybe saved the best for last. Principal Dale Mart, <laughs> who is the proud owner of a Country 107 toque for $50. We did it at a little auction earlier today. Congratulations, Thank sir. You. Thank you. I'm a proud owner of this new toque, and it's worth every penny. It is. At $50, uh, I accept uh, cash, check, credit card. Uh, I can give you South Oaks bucks. <laughs> it's a deal. Deal. <laughs> Whatever I can get. Uh, Mr. Martins, how long have you been the principal here at uh, South Oaks Elementary? I've uh, been here for three years as the principal, but a little surprise. I was a teacher here 10 years ago, and I taught for eight years initially in my career, so I'm, I felt like I was coming back home. No kidding. What's it like to kind of come full circle like that? Go from a teacher here to now the principal. It's been awesome because when I came back, I still knew about half the staff. I still had parents uh, that knew my name and a few students as well. Well, they were older, of course. But it's, it, it was a pleasure to come back and reconnect and then get to know some new people as well. It seems like one of those great communities here in Grunthal where you, you, even if you leave for a little bit, you can come back and it, it's like you never really went anywhere. People are just so down to earth here. Is that what you experienced? Absolutely. One of my favorite memories when I was teaching here was I walked uptown one day to get something and from across Main Street, someone yells, Hey, Mr. Martins! And I just felt really like this is a home and this is where I belong. Now, uh, part of that belonging is the community giving back. And you recently wrapped up an event. Tell us a little bit about the fundraiser. Yeah, we recently wrapped up our annual chocolate sales event. Uh, and we, uh, we, we try it every year. We do okay. But this year we did uh, ex exceptionally well. We earned $9,000 in the uh, fundraising. We share that with our PAC and the school. And then we uh, purchase items that benefit all the students, uh, such as a piano for assemblies or uh, upgrades to our library, things like that. So it was a great event, and we really appreciate everyone who supported us. And uh, even if you hate chocolate, I appreciate you trying to eat it and doing your best with that. And, of course, raising a lot of money helps, too. Now, yeah, not only are you helping kids uh, with, like you said, a piano or different supplies that maybe they need, you're helping kids adjust. And in, in the elementary school system, it's so important for kids to feel comfortable. You have a brand-new program that you want to talk about right now on Country 107. Tell me about Bridging Week. Yeah, this is something new that our staff has been talking about uh, since we spent two days with Gordon Newfolk recently, uh, learning about the importance of attachment. Um, we often, in the past, we usually have told students which class they'll be in next year. We, we, we'll, we won't actually tell them. We'll write it on the report card, and the report card goes home on the very last day of school. So the students see a name. Uh, since learning from Gordon Newfolk, we feel like we can do better than that. So this year, uh, the second last week of June, we're going to call it Bridging Week, where we're going to sh take the kids to their new teacher, uh, along with the students in their new class, show them their new class, uh, let them ask some questions, let them uh, sort of debrief afterwards, and just sort of uh, open up that, that door for them so they don't have to go into summer not knowing. They can go into summer knowing where they're going to land after summer. So it's kind of like a bridge over summer. Parents have to be thrilled with that because, uh, you know, kids adjusting to a new teacher, new room, it can be tough when you're, when you're younger. Well, yes, and we, you know, we're finding more and more kids who are sensitive or have anxiety about things. Uh, so this kind of initiative can really help with that. Um, and, uh, yeah, we mentioned it at our PAC meeting recently, and the parents there were very excited about the idea. So we're looking forward to giving it a try. Dale Martins, principal of South Oaks Elementary, joins us here at the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal. There's a lot of great events we have also coming up in the next couple of weeks. Give us some details about what's coming up at South Oaks. Yeah, on May 2nd, we have our spring concert coming up, and we're planning something special this year with a, a bit of a twist on the concert, not just a choral concert, but also a bit of a play. It's called Summer Camp. So I'm hearing bits and pieces about it. I hear there's going to be a campfire. I hear about a drum circle. I hear about different songs in different parts. So I know students are practicing hard. Teachers are working hard to get it ready. 
And I think it's going to be awesome. We actually had parents uh, at our PAC uh, meeting. They were getting quite excited, and they th they felt we needed to add, it a se add a second show, not just do one show. So we're doing an afternoon show at 2 o'clock and an evening show at 7. Mr. Martins, thank you so much for taking some time and joining us today and, and having the free coffee here at the Red Wing Diner. We really appreciate it. You know, thanks a lot for having me, and I just want to say hi to all the students and staff back at the school who are listening. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much, Mr. Martins. We really appreciate it. Uh, on the way, coming up on the Country 107 Morning Show from the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal, we have Hunter Brothers and Lost. That is next. Hunter Brothers with Lost on Country 107. Good morning. I'm Dave Anthony, the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal, the place to be as it is every morning. Big thanks to Clarence and Linda Penner for having us here today. And Linda, uh, we... The cool thing about uh, the Red Wing Diner is you get to see a lot of the same faces come in every morning. What's it like to, to see the same people day after day, you know, supporting you here? It's... I like it. It's great. <laughs> it really is, and it's a great atmosphere. We just had Jake stop by, and, you know, people are solving the world's problems here in Corinto, which is really fantastic. Uh, Linda, we can't thank you enough for having us here today. You and Clarence were fantastic. Uh, just thank you so much for letting Country 107 come down the road and hang out this morning. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> come down to the Red Wing Diner. They got incredible breakfast, great coffee as well. I mean, I'm not usually a coffee drinker, but I had six cups today. I know. I am I'm just in a great mood today. Uh, we can't thank of course uh, Clarence and Linda enough and all the amazing people that stopped by today. Uh, Jason Peters from the RM of Hanover stopped by. We had uh, Kelly Wee from the Grunthal Motocross. From Green Valley School, Sam Weeb and Danny Cole, they were fantastic. Harold Unner from uh, the uh, Grunthal Auction Mart and Mr. Dale Martins from South Oaks Elementary. And of course, uh, again, Clarence and Linda for hosting us here uh, today. Linda, thank you so, so much. Oh, you're very welcome. So uh, that's going to wrap things up here from uh, the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal. The Country 107 Morning Show is on the road throughout the Southeast. We are going to put uh, some photos up. We're going to have a little bit of uh, a recap on the blog uh, through SteinbachOnline.com. So you can check out the Country 107 page a little bit later on this morning for all the great photos. And uh, you'll get a list of where we may be stopping next. Back to Steinbach we go. It was a great morning in Grunthal and it was so much fun. We want to give a special shout out to our person of the day before we uh, take off here is uh, Gertie Brown from Grunthal is the Country 107 person of the day. Now, it being National Volunteer Week, uh, Agnes Bartell wanted to recognize Gertie for all that she does in the community of Grunthal. She walks every morning in the spring and summer and picks up garbage around Grunthal on the streets and the roads. She is out there taking care of her community because Gertie Brown loves the community just so much. So Gertie Brown is the Country 107 person of the day. On the way, Lee Bryce and Paul Brandt. We're heading back to Steinbach. The Country 107 Morning Show wrapping things up from the Red Wing Diner in Grunthal. It's the Country 107 Morning Show on the road.